How many of those do you do? Squeeze your booty. Not booty squeezes are in the chair. Where do you feel that most? It's uh, mostly like right back here. It's hard to point to. And right now there's a lot of swelling above the kneecap. And so, and then right below it is where the surgery was. And so it feels like everything's kind of pulling and just pressing in weird places. But it's healing. Jeb. <laughs> Going to the trailer. The wire, but the All right, let me set the camera down. Now you're stuck in here. Because <laughs> yeah. getting out, how's that gonna? Just reverse it. Yeah, I'm just worried Reverse about that handle. Handle should be fine. Just stand maybe and spot me. It's bigger. <laughs> I mean, it's bigger than I remember. <laughs> it is quite. Sp I mean, you could even crutch through here. Yeah, that's a big quite easily. Some spots, yeah. And then this would be perfect for you to sit and watch we'll TV. Try to get over there, though. Well, we just moved the table. Yeah. No worries. Job. So, what if you sat here and probably put a stool here and your leg stuck out? We just close the door on your leg. Guess we can try it. Yeah, because I mean, the shower, there might be a little bit of splashback, but we could put a towel down here. I control it for the most part. Mm hmm. I could also just stand and just. It's also one psh, time a day. Pour it over you. That's why I don't mind doing like going inside. Maybe like once a week. I <laughs> Shower once a week. You're gonna break every surface here, I think, doing that. I'm testing it. <laughs> this is gonna be broken. This is gonna be broken. This might break. This might break. <laughs> That's gonna be broken. <laughs> as soon as one breaks, I'm going down. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be broken for sure. Yeah. In your cardio in, though. Yeah, been three laps. Just imagine now doing what you did with dog obstacles in the way. It's gonna kick him a lot. Be like Tarzan. But you made it! Swinging over people and things. You made it. Okay. Going down's a little bit easier. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I guess so. I'll, what? I'll let you close the I got the door. So, what I'm doing right now is uh, Matt is back in the trailer and he's making some phone calls for his work and I am packing everything up that's in our little apartment type place that we've been staying in at his in-laws house and I'm slowly taking it over. So it's gonna take me probably like 10 trips. Um, I've got a bunch of food in this bag right now. I'm gonna start taking over our clothes and the toiletry items that we've been using because we've been living here for like three weeks now. And next time you see us, we will be moved back in the trailer for good. And I'm so thankful. It's been awesome having his parents here um, and helping us, but there's nothing like being in your own home sweet trailer. So I will see you guys in the RV. How's it feel to be back in the trailer? You asking me or Brady? <laughs> I'm asking you, but Brady bumped his head into my camera. Feels good, I miss my cat pillow. <laughs> 
Personal well, space. Well, Brady's super excited to be back in here. Personal space. Linking everything. Stop linking everything. Stop. You know that hurts, right? Stop. Ow. Stop. Nope, 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 nope. Oh man, almost broke the leg again. How are you gonna do this? It's a high bed. Thanks for noticing. You need help? What? <laughs> the trailer's actually more accessible. Yes. Yeah, There's so many things to push off of. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> no crutch in my life in here. Dang. We're just gonna watch you. Okay. Watch me go to sea. <laughs> Here I go. In broad daylight. Yeah. Could have closed all the blinds, I guess. Nah. Set the scene. I wanted to show you guys and Matt, because he hasn't seen it. He found these little. It's a little organization thing. Oh, for the bathroom? Um, well, I didn't know where to put it yet, but it sticks to the wall and you can like put things in it. So I guess we could use it for the bathroom. That'd be good. Get things off the counter. So put it right here with like toothbrushes or right here. I'm out. It's <laughs> like what I do with my ice cream bowl. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I actually really like that thing. I kind of want more. <laughs> We're not gonna cover the walls with these. That'd be kind of cool, like, ooh, and just not use the cabinet at all. <laughs> I have no problem using the cabinet to your sections. Well, doesn't it look better? Yeah. There we go. Still want to organize this a bit more. What really needs it is this. <laughs> right now, we're actually gonna head to the rock gym. I'm gonna go climb. Matt is not going to climb. Yeah, we're gonna go to the rock gym and then hang out with some friends later. I'm not quite sure where this vlog is gonna go, but this is this is our life, so. It's gonna go on YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> it is gonna go on YouTube. <laughs> Side note, there was a black widow on our little doorstep this morning. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing pretty good. Yeah, I do okay. And then he stays there for like five hours. Yeah. Here I am. <laughs> but what I like about being back in the trailer is that whenever I'm making food and doing dishes and stuff, I'm not in a completely different room. So we can actually still be in the same room. And if we're watching Netflix or something, I don't miss all the show. Because that's important. Uh, yeah, it is. That's very important. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to the AC. We're going to go to the rock. Right, I wanted to... I wanted to share real quick with you guys. As most of y'all probably know, Matt and I are vegan. This company called Beyond Meat, uh, they have a lot of like plant-based meat alternatives, which I really, really enjoy their products. They came out with a burger recently called the Beyond Burger. And what it is, is it's supposed to be a really like a solid grilling burger plant-based alternative and we tried them for the first time yesterday I got these at Whole Foods I think they're at all Whole Foods pretty much across the US and what's really cool about them is that they're really high in protein they've actually got some fiber um, they're high in vitamin C high in iron but there's no cholesterol in them and they're low sodium they're really really solid and healthy burger but it's not like a veggie veggie burger so I really like veggie burgers but a lot of people don't like them because they're kind of, they're, they're vegetables, you know, they taste like um, rice and beans and stuff that, that they put in there and they're really good, but they're not like a good grilling type of burger. So if you're going to a barbecue, they don't grill really well because they don't stay together very well. But these are grill approved there, but my dad grilled them up and they were delicious. Uh, did you, did you like them? I liked them. Yeah? Yeah. And then Jen, my sister-in-law really liked them. My mom. She didn't seem to have any complaints about it. She said they were really good too. As far as macronutrients go, they're very, very similar, comparable, um, if not better than like an animal cow based burger. And the taste is really, really good. We're gonna have them, we're going over to a friend's house today. So we're gonna have them uh, grill those up. So as far as like 
healthier, more environmentally friendly, and of course, friendlier for the animals. So the things that they're coming up with, uh, it's just really cool to be a part of 